Well, today Pfizer announced that the company is acquiring Wyeth. What's the rationale behind that decision? The combination of Wyeth and Pfizer is going to create the world's premier global pharmaceutical business. It's a very exciting opportunity to combine the terrific uh, assets and people of both companies. We'll have a company that's diverse and flexible and has the skill to compete in this very dynamic and changing healthcare environment. We'll be able to be a leader in primary care and specialty care and human health, animal health and consumer health, in vaccines and biologics and small molecules in the developed world and the emerging world. And we'll be able to create more value for our patients and our shareholders and other customers. Why are you supporting the transaction? We believe that we can do much more and much faster in, in this combination. And uh, the reason we've got a, an attractive offer from Pfizer is that wires became more and more attractive to Pfizer over the years. And the reasons are you know, that we build one of the premier capacities in uh, biotechnology. We embraced this technology in the early 90s and became the third largest biotech company today in the world. We've also produced one of the most successful vaccines in history of mankind, the first pneumococcal vaccines for, for children. We've also uh, built a OTC division, which I think is uh, very important for, for Pfizer. And uh, lastly, even in our animal health uh, division, uh, we've been very conscious of uh, very significant diseases that now are a big concern to populations, you know, like avian flu. We were first to bring a vaccine against avian flu. So in combining all these businesses, I think we built the most diversified uh, biopharmaceutical company, and that's what made uh, WISE very attractive to, to Pfizer. So this combination will help us just to accelerate you know, the strategic realization of what I just presented. You have said in the past, and I'm quoting now, that large deals run the risk of disruption and integration challenges. Why is this going to be different? Well, it's certainly true that you have to uh, do a lot of hard work to make sure an integration of two great companies like these works well. Um, but this is a very different kind of transaction than some of the large uh, pharma mergers of the past. As, as Bernard said, Bernard and his team have built a tremendous diversified company, uh, way ahead of people on, bio, on bi biologics and on vaccines. Um, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the vaccine saves more than one baby a day, every day in the year. It's, it's just a terrific business. And what we're going to do here is very different than what's happened in the past. We're going to have separate business units in primary care, in specialty care, animal health, consumer, nutritionals. And each of these businesses will operate with a high degree of independence while still benefiting from the scale of the larger organization. Now, Bernard and I have talked from the very beginning about how important it is to preserve the innovation represented by our research labs. That's what is the future of any biopharmaceutical company. So we're going to be very careful how we go about this, and we're going to do it as quickly as we can, but thoroughly and fairly. We want to get the best possible people to uh, be uh, supporting and leading our various businesses and activities, and I think we're going to uh, really do a great job on this because our cultures and our organizations are very compatible. Why not remain an independent company? I think what this combination is going to bring is you know, this, the financial power and the abilities to really put all our resources behind those innovations. And it's a tough time for this industry. I mean, the diseases to fight are still many. Uh, we have, for example, put in motion more than 10 projects in Alzheimer's. I mean, that's one of the biggest issues of our times. This requires a phenomenal amount of resources, not only the key talents we've been able to assemble, but also the financial resources and the time to get to the finish line. So I think it's good news you know, that you know, these two organizations are going to coalesce to make this fight a victory as soon as possible. How is this going to affect the loss of exclusivity of Lipitor? Well, we are going to lose exclusivity on Lipitor. That's a fact. But what this uh, transaction, among many other benefits, uh, does is it enables us to uh, really definitively address the significant revenue loss represented by the uh, loss of exclusivity of Lipitor uh, at the end of 2011. And that will uh, really put us in a position to, to go through that period of time and, and uh, grow very profitably going forward in the future. And, it's, and it really addresses that in a very meaningful way.